Hey guys, how are you? I need a colored piece of paper or you are not going to be able to see what I'm talking about. Let's see, hang on. Do we have anything? How about this piece of off-white paper? Will that work? No, that doesn't work. Let me get something. Hang on. Now you can see. Woohoo! Alright, so I have designed a number of um, new stencils for this year that have four designs and one stencil. At the moment we have five different designs and coming up there's at least two more that I can think of off the top of my head, maybe three. I think there's two. I don't know. Anyway, there's more coming. Um, I like these because I personally like to have the option of taking my stencils with me traveling and also working in a small journal. What do I mean by that? I mean like this little moleskin. This is a little moleskin, one of the moleskin diaries. This is for, it was for 2017. I don't use it for that. Um, I use it to do art journaling in. So um, I like these. You could leave these the way they're designed on a, this, there are four designs on a six by six stencil or you could cut them apart. You of course can do it on a trimmer. Oh the trimmer out. Zoom out just a little bit. There we go. You could do it on a trimmer. Um, you might find that some of them you need to cut with a pair of scissors. You're going to have to eyeball it. They're not all going to be like exactly three by three as you can see, right? But I have a spare set here. I have one set I'm gonna leave in the six by six, but I've got a spare set here that I wanna cut up. They actually just came in from manufacturing, which is why this little piece of plastic is on here. Can you see that? Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. So you could do it with a trimmer, you could do it with scissors, you don't have to, um, you don't have to have a trimmer. So this is one of them. So if you look at this one, you'll notice that if you cut it straight across here, you're going to cut off the arrow. Um, so, you know, I didn't think about cutting them in half until after. I started designing them. Okay, so I'm going to only do that one that way. That one that way. So you're going to have to be, you know, a bit thoughtful with some of them and how you cut them. Okay. If cutting them apart makes them too small for you and you don't have a big enough margin around the edge, you could tape a bit of decorative du duct tape around the edge of them. Okay, so then you can take them all, you can put them in an envelope, a pocket, a Ziploc bag, you could punch holes in them and put them on a binder ring, and you've got this whole set of mini stencils to play with, and these are much easier to get into a small journal than in its bigger form of 6x6. Six six. 
So whether you have my stencils or someone else's that have more than one design on the stencil, think about cutting it apart. All right, that's it for today. Just a quick tip. Don't be afraid to cut your, you know, to cut your stencils apart, to get creative with your tools. I've even been known to take stencils and cut all of this border away to, re to release the image. Get creative with them, whether they're mine or someone else's. Just have fun, make art, enjoy yourself, and above all, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.